Welcome to our weekly podcast. We're joining Ju Ping for part two of a special tea taste. Uh, this bush uh, uh, came from the Junshan, the uh, yellow tea came from the Hulan, uh, Yueyang, the city is Yueyang, uh, uh, named Yueyang. Uh, the Junshan is one island, is uh, inside of this lake, uh, Dongting Lake, very big, uh, big lake. When we make the yellow tea, we can treat it just as a high quality green tea, which means uh, put a three or four grams tea leaves uh, and uh, uh, don't put the boiling water to make your yellow tea, uh, just uh, hot water as you make some high quality green tea. Yinzhen. Also, it has a famous character uh, we call the dancing tea. Dance. Huh? Later, you will see the tea buds will floating on the water, go up, go down. Looks like a dancing. Huh? Junshan Yinzhen only made from the tea buds. You won't see the tea leaves. You call these bushes local bushes. Are they wild bushes or are they growing in farms? Um, well, uh, half wild, half grow by the farmer. Because that island is it's kind of, uh, it's kind of uh, big. Huh? So in the, uh, in the beginning, they do a lot of research. Uh, they uh, take care of uh, some of the uh, field for the bush, but uh, then uh, still there are a lot, grow just by the wild. Is this flatland or mountain? Uh, mountain. 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 It's a whole island, just mountain. The high quality tea, when you make it, you either can cover it, your cup, or you just open like this. Because huh? we don't need uh, too much uh, the heat to cook your tea. Just let it uh, with uh, hot water about uh, two, min two minutes. Huh? Let it uh, go wet, and uh, you can say, uh, go wet very slow. Then some tea leaves start to drop. Let you can see there are lots of tea buds will stand on the water on the bottom. They call the bamboo shoots look also. Yellow tea, this tea maker, he made this yellow tea over 40 years. Many, many years to practice. When I ask him how to judge it's enough for the oxidized. He says, just by look, by smell, you know, just as other tea masters saying, still no machine to judge how many percent oxidized I will give to this tea. But uh, he will use uh, his uh, scale to control. Every year I will give the same oxidized, maybe around 80%. 80, 80 so next year he will do the same. But the tea, the fresh tea leaves, every year going to change. If this year very dry, you will say the tea buds after you pick, it's more skinny. Huh? The not too uh, rich is the water inside. If this year too much rain, you will see the tea buds much bigger. So control the foam tea just a little by the weather, what effect I give to the fresh tea leaves. Then they will take it, take care by their uh, experience. So this tea, yellow tea, because all made by the tea buds. So when you drink with a glass, you will feel kind of buzz your mouth. Mm -hmm. huh? So we always uh, the brew back. So when you brew back, same time you can smell the 
fragrance. Ah, very nice. You can just ah be careful. Ah, right, can you can smell that? Because when you blow it, that fragrance also will come. The sound it to into your nose. You can enjoy the to smell. Ah, that is nice. Ah, don't make it too strong for you guys. Just by the color, you can see same time. Even I put more water for this uh, bush. But you can see the color, this one little bit is yellower. Huh? This one is a little bit greener. Huh? Then you, you are so. We welcome your questions and comments. So please visit us at sevencups.com and we will answer any questions you have about tea and tea culture.